Hey everybody, what is going on? Buddy Blackford here, another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust the tonal uh, range on your images. So we have this image here that I have, uh, that someone took of us. And, you, and we were at a bar and you can see that all the uh, neon lights in the background or that were around changed it to like, so it looks very red. So I'm going to teach you how to use the levels adjustment layer to adjust everything and bring it out to an image that doesn't look all red and looks somewhat decent. So this is what we're going to change it to start looking to like this. So this is what we're going to use, um, try to get to in our tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off and we're going to start with a whole new uh, adjustment layer and we're going to use levels. So levels is this one here with the uh, kind of looks like sound wave on a uh, on like those visualizers or whatever. So just click on here and add uh, a levels adjustment layer or you can come down here and add levels if you want. So the main thing we see here is that there's a lot of red in the image and we got to take that away. And the first way we can do that is coming down to where it says RGB here and we're going to come to the red channel. Now you're just going to basically um, mess with this, these sliders here to take out some of the red and add other color in. This um, dark slider here is for the shadows. The middle slider that's gray here is for the midtones, and the light slider here is for the highlights. And then you've got your total output levels here at the bottom. Um, this will make it uh, add more red, and this will make it add less red. So when we're in the RGB here, you can see how this affects it by making it more light, lighter as you pull out the blacks that are pull out the shadows there, and this will make it darker if you go this way. So that's how this output level works here. But let's go into the red and uh, see what we can do here. Now, if I move the slider to the right, it's going to take out some of the color. As you can see, it's also making it darker. So I might want to move my darkness over a little bit or make it lighter by going this way. Let's, let's stay in this area right now. Um, and then we can come back and adjust as we go through. Let's go ahead to our greens. Maybe we can add some color in by moving the midtones to the left a little. And so far, it looks like we've taken out a decent amount out. Let's come down to our blue here. And uh, then I don't want to add too much there. That that makes it too green as if I go that way. If I come this way, it's making it a little blue. Here we go, take out some of the dark. As I'm sliding it slowly so I can, I don't wanna go too much. And uh, this is, uh, it's got a little bit of green in there, but it's uh, better than the entirely red that we had before. So you adjust your tonal ranges like that, and then we can, if you need to fine tune it even more, uh, that's not looking any good if I use these, yeah. Um, let's go to our RGB and see what we can do that way. So if it's darkening it, I don't want it that dark. And it's too, it's bl it's blasting it out when I use the uh, output levels here, so I'm not going to mess with those. Let's check out our other ones here. Too dark. This is brightening it up a little. But when you, add, when you brighten it up and start adding more stuff, you can see that more noise is being added. So um, I'm just brightening it up only a little bit. Maybe I'll just use the mid-tones, brighten those up a little bit. So now we've got a decent looking image. If you have a bunch of these images that, uh, that you took at like the bar and they're all red, you can save this. If you go click on the options up here on the corner, you can go to save levels preset and then save it into your levels folder here as it automatically goes there. Name it whatever you want. Um, reduce redness. I'll save that. And then if I come down to here, I can come down into my preset and just click on reduce redness and it'll already be there. So if I turn this off, add another one in there, come down to reduce redness, it's gonna automatically apply it. And that way you can do things really quickly and don't have to uh, 
Um, you don't have to adjust each thing individually, so it won't take a lot of time. You can use the levels to lighten up in Im images. You can use the levels to darken images if they're too bright. And uh, just remember that as you do this, um, it does increase noise in in the uh, image. It, like you can see how there's more noise, and then you can maybe use go to your noise and try to uh, get rid of some of the noise using the reduce noise filters and stuff like that. But that's uh, that's for a, a, a I already covered that in another tutorial, so check out that tutorial if you want to go ahead and start uh, decreasing noise and everything like that. So um, that's about it for this tutorial. This is uh, about controlling tonal range using levels. So thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out uh, Bucky'sRoom.org for more tutorials on other Adobe um, other Adobe products such as Photoshop again and After Effects and other things. So uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one, everyone.